Here's the thing. Every morning when I come into my office, I have to go through this ritual of turning on all the lights manually. I mean, enough. I cannot take this anymore. I'm a lazy person. I want everything to be automated. And that means that when I come to the office, I want to press one single button and have all the lights here turn on automatically. I also want that light to turn on when I'm in a Zoom call and I want the heating to turn on when it's cold outside. Lucky for me, I have a few nice gadgets here. I have the Philips Hue remote, I have the Tatfree remote from Ikea and a few Hue lamps, both small ones and big ones. I don't, however, have the Philips or the Ikea hubs and I don't want to use them because I don't want to have a single hub for each device I use. Lucky for me, I I'm a big fan of open source software and there's a beautiful little application called Home Assistant that I can install on Raspberry Pi and automate my whole office. So today I'm going to walk you to the first step of automating uh, my office and that is those lamps behind me. And the goal is not just to make them go on and off but also to have different setups for different usage. For example, for those YouTube videos or for conference calls, or I am not sure what is this for, but we'll find a use for that as well. So let's jump right into it and start automating this office. For this project, we'll use a Raspberry Pi 4 with a case. We also need an SD card where we will install the operating system. And we also need a Zigbee controller. The Zigbee controller will basically allow our Raspberry Pi to communicate with any Zigbee devices and will replace any of the proprietary hubs you usually get with systems like Philips Hue. We also need an antenna for the controller itself, but it usually comes with the controller. And of course, we need the Zigbee devices themselves, such as the IKEA TAT3 remote, this Philips Hue remote, and any light bulbs we will want to connect to the controller as well. In this case, we will use uh, Philips Hue light bulbs, but we could have equally used an IKEA TAT3 light bulbs or Xiaomi or any other Zigbee uh, light bulb we would want to control. Now that we have all the components, we put the Raspberry Pi in its case, close the case, Attach the antenna to the ZB controller and connect it to the USB port. Now that we have all the components in place, the next step is to install the operating system on the Raspberry Pi. And so we download Balena Etcher. Then go to Home Assistant. Go to Raspberry Pi, copy the URL from here. And insert the SD card. from URL, that's the URL we just copied. Balena actually will download that image directly, you don't need to download in advance. Choose the SD card we just selected, select and flash. That will take a few minutes, it might ask you for your root privilege. Well, in order to access the hardware. Once the flashing is complete, macOS no longer recognizes that SD card. We can safely eject it and insert it into the Raspberry Pi. Now I'm connecting the Ethernet cable to the Raspberry Pi. It is possible to connect the Raspberry Pi via Wi-Fi as well, but that is less stable. 
We also connect the power cable and I highly recommend to connect a screen as well. Even though we don't need it later, it will make it easier to see when the Raspberry Pi boots for the first time. Once you see that the Raspberry Pi is ready, and that you can see easily by the text on the screen showing the Raspberry Pi's uh, network name, you can open the local installation of Home Assistant. It will be available at homeassistant.local at port 8123. While Home Assistant is preparing, it can take quite a bit of time, so sit back and relax. Put in your name, a username, a password, and create an account. Keep in mind that this account is fully local and, and you won't necessarily use it anywhere outside. We are setting this Home Assistant for the office, so that's what we'll name it. And here we see the devices that Home Assistant already recognized. In our case, we want to add Zigbee support. So I click on more and choose Zigbee Home Automation. Our CC2531 is detected. We click on it here, submit. It doesn't actually matter what area we define for it, so we'll call it office. And we have the most basic home assistant installation ready. Now we go to configuration, integration, configure. And now it's time to replace your stupid, boring old light bulbs with Zigbee enabled ones. If the light has been previously used or for some reason does not pair with Home Assistant, just hold the on and off buttons of your Philips Hue remote for roughly 5 seconds. Once the light flickers, that means the light is ready to be paired. And here we can add all our Zigbee devices. So it found the three lamps behind me, but we also want to detect the uh, Philips Hue remote and the IKEA remote. So let's put them in playing mode. For the Philips Hue remote, we just need to press the reset button and hold it for seven seconds. until you see the LEDs on the top blink between green and orange. And at the same time, we see it appearing here as a device ready to use as well. For the IKEA, we need to unscrew the little screw in the back. And there's a little button here. We need to press it quickly a few times until there's a little LED here that flickers red. Once that happens, search again. Keep in mind that IKEA devices are generally a bit lower quality than the Philips ones and might be a little bit more hard to pair and hard to work with in general. While our IKEA device is still configuring, let we can set up proper names for the rest of the devices. 
So let's see this one. So let's call it Q standing lamp. Okay, and now we have all the devices set up. To make it a bit more fun, we can also define different uh, scenes. So let's call it the blue scene. And we choose the devices. Now we can define what exactly happens in that scene. So since it's a blue scene, now the next step is to make the IKEA remote turn this light on and off. For that, we can take a blueprint. Here, we can just search. Kiana switch. You can just take the address, input, put in the URL. And import the blueprint. Once we define the blueprint, on button press, we say call service, light, turn on. Here we can choose pick area, office. And that will turn on all the lights in the office. Okay, okay. same thing. Call service, light turn off in area office. To switch to a specific scene, just choose activate scene and choose the scene you want to switch to. That's it. Now all it takes to turn on those lights behind me is one button click. And not only that, I can even control the different colors of that with just one more button click. If I'm recording a YouTube video, those are the lights I'm gonna be using. If I have an important conference call, I can switch to that. If I, well, I have no idea what I'm doing, but then I can switch to that. In the future, I'm gonna add more automations. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon in order to not miss any of the future videos. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to press the like button and if you didn't please leave a comment why you didn't like it thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video